interestingly for Germany, uh, have qualified one quota spot. Now the bronze medal final between two Germans potentially competing for the one male quota spot they have for the Tokyo Olympic Games. It's Florian Unruh against Moritz Visa. So, Florian Unruh, 27 years old, world number 21 against the 20-year-old compatriot Moritz Wieser, who is the world number 89. Now, I want to spice this up, Nikki. Look, Florian Unruh is probably in pole position for the one male quota spot that Germany have got. They've got a chance to qualify in Paris. Uh, but perhaps a good result here from Visa against Unruh will put him into German's thinking if there isn't a men's team. Yeah, I mean, what's really interesting though is Moritz didn't make up part of that German team who historically went out and won a gold medal for the team round in Lausanne at the Second World Cup. It's a brave decision for Germany to pick another man to come into this team, but what a good pick it was. Well, Unruh gets uh, this bronze medal match underway with an eight. A little bit of a wince there. Got a gust of wind. And it's now blowing properly. But look how Visa's handled that with a 10. So did that gust push Unruh off at the start there? This field is just so, you know, changeable. Yeah. Anything can happen. You've got to be on top of it all the time to try and make the best of your 20 seconds to shoot. Well, they've called that a 10 in the stadium. It's marked as a 9 here. I tend to agree with whoever's pressing the buttons on the scoring. That was very close to the line, but probably uh, a 9. Uh, a 28 finish for Unruh. 10 will put this one to bed. Into the 9. So now we need to have a measure. It's down as one set point each, but that second arrow from Visa, well, it was called a 10 in the stadium. The scorers put it down as a 9. Um, Nikki, really hard split to the difference, 9.5 perhaps? Really hard to call. I think the shadow is um, on the inside there, so we couldn't quite see the judge having a look with the magnifying glass from both angles to check whether he thinks it is touching the line. If it is, then it will be called the higher number. Well, I, I still can't tell, to be honest with you. Really, really tricky one to tell from here. Marking the arrow, so if there was an issue where the arrow went through the boss or bounced out of it, then there would be an unmarked hole, and the archer would score from the unmarked hole. Well, it looks like it might well have remained a nine. If they pulled the arrows out... It looked like there was still a bit of yellow between the hole and the nine, sorry, the ten ring. We await to see confirmation of the score here. I thought I saw two set points for Florian. Yeah, perhaps you're right. Andrew shooting first. But he did in the first one. Well, there it is. Nice. Confirmation. Corra congratulations, Nikki. It is two set points for Visa. Okay. Unruh starts with a 10. And I think that first arrow from Unruh was just his sighter. He is in the middle of the target at the moment. Ten. 
great shooting. These archers must know each other inside out, probably training together quite regularly. Hold that one, you can see the expression on Andre's face. He thinks he may well be four set points down after just six arrows. Got to keep your cool. Take the opportunity when it comes. And that's certainly what Moritz Visa has done here. A 4-0 lead and just like that. Listen, uh, recurve archery does tend to go a little bit faster because of the set point system. But in particularly in the individual, both when the men and women come out, they're shooting so fast. There's no time between the arrows flying into the targets. Yeah, it's much more dynamic. Um, you know, they're always moving through the shot, trying to make that good execution. They get 20 seconds to shoot, but often, you know, it really only takes perhaps 10 seconds to get through that shot routine. Some archers taking longer at full draw um, to settle down, but yeah, it's, it's generally much quicker. And look, whilst we say that uh, recurve archery does allow for recovery at that speed, um, already perhaps the favourite for this bronze medal coming into it on paper, paper certainly. Florian Unru hasn't really got much of a chance to recover here. No, I mean, uh, Vitsa is just shooting so, so well, isn't he? 29, 29 so far. Can he do another one? Unru with three arrows to save his chance of a medal here at the European Championships. 4-0 down. The second buzzer goes and he will get set number three underway. That really isn't a good start when you see how well Moritz Visa is shooting. Nine. Didn't look particularly happy with it, did it? But it went in the X. Something's not quite right there. So one arrow here, a 10 is what he needs. He's got a nine. So here is the opportunity to do it in nine arrows against his teammate. Moritz Visa needs a 10 for European bronze. Brilliant, into the X ring and it is 329s in a row. And look, just like that, blink and you'll miss it. Moritz Visa has come out and he's stormed to the European bronze medal. Brilliant performance from him against a slightly off par Florian Unruh. What a fantastic pick from Germany. You know, to go to the second World Cup to win a historic men's team gold and to pick somebody else to come into this European Championships. The depth they must have right now, these four men particularly, are all, you know, have got the class to take them through. They've got their one male spot. They will be fighting for that team spot in Paris in two weeks' time.